Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name's Cassandra and today I'm gonna to be going through with you and we'll be looking at different apartments and different houses that are available here in Yellowknife, Northwest Territories, Canada, where I live. So um, before we get into that, there's a few things that I would like to say. The first is I notice we are super close to 1,000 subscribers and I am super excited about that. So if you're watching this and you are not already subscribed, please go ahead and ring that uh, bell beside the subscription button after you hit subscribe so that you'll be notified of all of my upcoming videos. The next thing I want to talk about is I know you guys are telling me on my videos lately that you would like to see more outside videos and I just want to let you know that we're actually having trouble with our car so we are not doing as many outdoor activities as we normally do. Our car is uh, like the brakes have stopped working and we are not willing to fix it anymore. Okay, the brakes haven't stopped working, but they're not good. Like they've been making sounds for a while and you know, it's like risky. So Chris just really just takes it to work and we don't really go on the highway for sure, but we don't go too many places in the car. So I do have some pre-filmed content coming out for you soon. That's gonna be, you know, some of the Yellowknife in July video and also I'm doing a summer activities video. So those two will be coming, they are outdoors, but the rest of it is going to probably be indoors for now. Also, we don't have a lot opening up here um, as far as like, for example, the library is open, but you're not allowed to go inside and like look around. You're just allowed to pick up your books and drop, your, drop them off. So it's like nothing to film. So just give me a little while, hang in there um, and it will be coming. Also, September's coming up and so I will be putting out a lot more homeschool content. I'm gonna be doing um, some uh, meal planning and homeschooling videos together, which sounds really weird, but we will be studying a country per week. So for example, our, the first country is Chile, and we, or Chile, <laughs> and uh, so I will be putting up a video showing you what we're gonna eat from that country, uh, the groceries I get uh, to make meals for, eating things from that country, and also some homeschool activities that I've planned. You can do this with your kids if you homeschool or not. It's just a really fun thing to do, and they're really simple activities, and I've gotten some books to go along with it, so it's like a whole immersion in the country, a little unit for the week. So I'll be doing one of those per week, hopefully uh, at least two a month, just to, depending on how fast I can plan them and how much my kids are enjoying them. Uh, and so definitely stay tuned for that as well. So I'll be, I'll try to like alternate the days like Yellowknife content on Thursday, you know, homeschool stuff Monday. And also of course we'll be trying out a lot more curriculum. So if you're here for that or food, Monday's videos, you'll, you'll really start to enjoy. So all that being said, that was a really long introduction. Let's go ahead and look at some apartments and homes in Yellowknife. Okay. So I'm here on Kijiji. This is actually where we found our apartment. If you haven't seen our Yellowknife apartment tour, we live in a three bedroom townhouse and I will put a link up uh, in the description box but also up here in a card if you haven't seen that yet just to see where we live. Um, uh, we pay $2,100 rent and we also pay electricity which is about $200 a month. So that's what we pay here and ours is a very good deal for what we have. But we found it on Kijiji through a private uh, sort of person. His dad built all the townhouses that are in this little, I don't even know what you call it, area. <laughs> There's like three rows of them. Um, and so anyway, we got really lucky there. So let's see what they have right now. So they have, um, oh yeah. Okay. So there's this Midwest property management. Just want to see if they have any private ones here because these ones are all on another site as well. So we've got the Sierra Manor there. Now these are all ones we saw in this Fraser tower. You will see these over and over again as you search because I don't know why if they, this company, I, I don't know what it is, if they just are always available or they, you know, pay super heavy for advertising on these ones. But that's why we had such trouble finding a place um, online and before coming here, because it looked like there was literally like five to choose from, because you just see these ones over and over again. So again, they're Fraser Tower. So there's nothing um, on there right now that's like a private thing, but I know for a fact someone just moved out down a couple houses. So in a couple months, I bet you one will be coming up for my little area here. So let's go to the next one. So Kijiji right there, I didn't even say, kijiji.ca is a good place to check. Okay, so the next one is this North View. Now this North View place owns, I think it's like 80% of the apartment complexes here. 
So basically, if you're looking to rent and you're not looking for just like a room or something um, from like someone's house, if you're looking to rent, you're almost for sure going with this company. Uh, so I actually have no experience with them, of course, because I live in a different uh, thing here. But um, yeah, let's just go through and see what they have. So this first one looks nice. Hillview Estates. So I didn't, as you can see up here, I didn't filter it. But if you have a certain price range, you can change this thing up here. Or if you're looking for a certain, you know, number of bedrooms, you can change that. But I'm just going to show all just so that we can take a look together depending on what you were looking for. So this Hillview Estate seems to have one bedroom and two bedroom units available. Let's just see in the details here what we're looking at. Okay, so it's this website's really good because it does list, you know, all the amenities, building features, in suite laundry. In suite laundry is good. That's something that was important to me. Yeah, I mean, all this stuff saying nearby, this is nearby. I mean, it's irrelevant really because everything is just so close here. I mean, if you're driving like 20 minutes max, you're getting to everywhere in town. So um, everything is nearby. So that doesn't really matter. So the prices there are 1760 for the one bedroom, 2060 for the two bedroom. And I know, okay, there we go. There's the utilities included. So you've got heat and water included, so you have to pay electric. So this is pretty straightforward. Uh, but the thing with this site is, we'll just go back and we'll look at a few more, um, that it's not up to date. So you really do need to call because there were a few that I picked out from the site and I called and they were not available anymore because they hadn't updated it on the site because the good ones go really fast. That is one thing to know about here. And if you're searching for houses or apartments, they go super fast. So you have to be like on it. But what is helpful about this website is if you call and they say, they'll give you a list. They'll say, uh, we've got a one bedroom in Lakeside, which is up here on the screen. We've got a one bedroom in Garden, you know, whatever it is, then you could quickly refer. Like you can look, okay, there it is. Look at the details, see if it's something you're interested in. Also, if you already know that, like for example, let's click this Garden Townhouse, Townhomes. If you already know, say you want in-suite laundry or you want, you know, a dishwasher for sure, you can just phone and tell them, okay, these are all the things that I want. I want a dishwasher, you know, I want, I have a pet, whatever it is. And they will say, okay, this is what's available and this is what's available. So that's probably your best bet. But this one here is a three bedroom starting at, this is about the average price I feel like for a three bedroom. 2,500 plus utilities, but this one is utilities included, so that's good. Um, but I'll show you some more websites later that utilities are not included on, but that's really good that you're, they're included there, so not too much more expensive than where we are. So this is another one, this green stone place that we saw all the time. Aurora Heights, these multicolored buildings, they were in like every single ad. Uh, we did go to look at one of these three. This is one of the ones we did look at is this Three Lakes Village. And they were very nice, but they were set up really strange. So for example, okay, so you go into the kitchen part and the kitchen is like very, very small in the corner of what seems like the living room. And then you've got the fireplace over here. But by the time you've got all that, it's like there's so little space. You've got like a little space for a couch and then... There's nowhere to put your dining room table. You know, you'd have to have like the smallest one of mankind. And I mean, this is a three bedroom house. So like you're assuming that you've got a family, right? Like, or, or many of you that you'd want maybe a little more than just a couch anyway. So they're really weird. Um, and then, you know, like just set up strange, but they do have, this one had the heated or not heated garage. It had a garage, but it wasn't heated. Yeah. It was just set up really strange. I don't know. It just, this one was much better. Okay, so you get the picture here, these lanky court. Apparently that's kind of a area. If you're watching from Yellowknife, let me know in the comments below if there's any areas that people should avoid because I do get those questions a lot. This is one that I heard to avoid, these lanky court townhouses. Let me know if I'm correct in the comments down below. I love you guys, by the way, the ones that watch from Yellowknife and crack me all the time. I'm so grateful for that. These are the ones, sorry, these are the multicolored ones. These are in like every single ad. Like I feel like these should be on like Yellowknife's like, do you want to live in Yellowknife? This is, this is it. <laughs> I don't know. And I've never, I don't even think I've ever seen them, but you just think that's what Yellowknife looks like. It's like rows and rows of these because they're just everywhere. I don't know. Anyway. All right. So you get the picture. There's quite a few on there. I think it said there was 28. 
Now I'm gonna go to this Triton property management here now. These are the ones that are a little more expensive, but they definitely seem nicer. Like this is an entire house basically you're renting, trailer house, whatever. Um, so it's three bedroom, two bathroom. It has a little shed and it's 2100 and that would be plus utilities. Does it have any more pictures? Yes. Oh, so this is just like buying a house. Oh, okay. There we go. Excludes all these things. Of course it does have a dishwasher. Let's look at a few pictures. Yeah, this is great. If you are in the market for something a little more expensive. Yeah, this is perfect. So it's just like a little home. Yeah, that's beautiful. So that's these are really good options. There's only ever a few on here though. So this one is what, a one bedroom, no pictures for that one. So I think there's just four on here. And they're also available a few months in advance. That's another thing. It's kind of like you don't have to give notice here. I think the notice here is like a month, whereas where we're from, it's two months. Uh, so it's actually really nice that they, well, I guess that's still a month away, but still, I feel like it was really hard to kind of find them because of the only having to give a month's notice problem. But uh, anyway, you know, it's usually like they're available now and you're like, well, I need it for later. Uh, so anyway, that's a really good site to check out. So that's tritonyk.com. Okay, so now we're getting into houses. Now, one thing I wanted to show you, oh wait, we're not getting into houses, I lied. There's one more place I wanted to show you that is a good place to look for apartments, and that's Yellow Knife Accommodations. This is actually a Facebook group. So um, you can just see it at the top there. So we'll just scroll down and see what they have. I've already kind of looked, but here, this is a good place if you need a room or a roommate, I find, like just a single room. So if you're like a single person coming to live here and work for a little while, this seems to be a really good place to look. It's a lot of like looking for, so it might be helpful also if you have a place here and you're trying to rent it out. But um, yeah, so looking for, looking for, looking for. Oh, but this person's looking for a roommate downtown. Again, living downtown is a little different than living on the outside of downtown because, um, you know, any downtown and any city is, you know, a little... I don't want to say it's not as nice, but it's just a different environment, I guess. Um, so that's something to consider. You, you know, if you want somewhere more quiet, more family oriented, or I don't even know if that's the right way to say that. It might be worth looking sort of outside of the downtown area. But I mean, I'm sure you can tell me in the comments below if you disagree, but um, that's just my opinion. So anyway, that's a good site to look at, Yellowknife Accommodations. So I'm going to show you one more app while we're already in the apps. And this is my favorite app to look at for when I'm looking at houses. Now, it doesn't have as big of a selection, um, but it does have really cool features. So it's the Realtor.ca app. And I'm just going to bring up uh, what they you know, say is in Yellowknife right now which is only seven properties, which is not the case. But what I do like about it is if we click on this first one, this gold court, this has been up for a while. So the pictures are easily accessible here at the top. I don't know if this is just overpriced or why it's kind of still in the market, but it really has been up for a while. I don't know much about houses. <laughs> I've never bought a house before. Um, okay, so it has your description here. Oh, the condo fees are maybe expensive. I don't know what it is. It seems to be in a good area. Um, I don't know. Built in 1990. Okay, so, oh, shoot. Maybe I can't show you on the app. If you're on the website, it'll give you different tabs at the, like, sort of near the middle, I guess. And it will show you if you put in what you have for down payment. Um, it'll show you, you know, what your monthly costs will be. It'll show you property taxes. It'll show you, like, what all the things you need uh, that to have in order to buy the house. So it'll show you a total of what you need. And also it shows you, like, a full, like, uh, like there's, like, 10 things or something with, you know, what the demographic. Actually, I think that was at the bottom. This demographic graphics part is nice although again it doesn't apply so much like it'll say oh is there restaurants nearby is there you know cafes and walking trails and whatever else but yeah I mean that doesn't really matter okay here we go 
different things, occupations, construction date, ownership, children at home. So that's kind of neat. Just to give you an idea, so this is listed, uh, as you can see up here, from low to high. So that's like your cheapest option, <laughs> a townhouse. Uh, this is like a semi, another semi. So here's our first sort of detached trailer for three eighty-five. dollars And I, my friend was telling me they have these paneled walls here that you can see because I guess because the, they move, I guess, sort of. So the, the earth, because it's, oh, well, I can't remember exactly how she explained it, but basically if you don't have a steel foundation, then it sort of moves around and your house moves. So they're not as long lasting as a house with a good foundation would be. So I thought that was kind of interesting. This looks beautiful though. So, so nice. Okay. So let's go to a house house. See if we can find, okay, here's a house house at the bottom. Sort of, is it? I don't know if that's a semi or a, no. Oh my goodness. So they don't even have one here. So let's go to the next site. So that's realtor. .ca. Let's go back to our websites. So this is the first one. This is my favorite one, this cbyk.ca. They have the biggest selection. So this is the first one here, Con Road. So it gives you the price right there. I'm just trying to find like a regular house that someone would be used to seeing. Oh, this is such a great area, this um, Niven area or whatever. I don't know what it's called. I can't remember now. Niven Lake. It's like a whole, like almost like a... Um, how do you say it? I don't want to be rude and like offend someone, but like, like just a nice little community of houses <laughs> like that are grouped together. I don't know, but uh, definitely where I would love to live someday. Okay. So we're looking at a million dollar house right now, pretty much. So you've got the floor plan. Oh, I'm doing one of these dumb things. I don't like those. I just want to see pictures. Well, here's some details. It's three bedrooms built at night. That's the one thing about here is there's no like really old, well, there, I'm sure there is, but I don't see them up for sale very often, really, really old houses. It, they're built like relatively new, right? Because I think they kind of started. So this is nice down here too. This little, sorry, I just cut off my own thought. Um, <laughs> This little mortgage calculator down here, you can quickly see what your down payment would need to be. Um, but I will tell you that I've gone through these little things right here, the schedule of viewing things, and I never hear response. Like if they definitely click their phone or email, because I don't know what it is about these things, but they don't seem to go through as quickly. So that's just something to consider if you are looking. I don't have much to offer in the house department, but there's something for you if you're going to go look and you want to do it fast. There it is. So there are some taxes right here. Those must be property taxes there for this million dollar home at 7,000 approximately, like the 6,916 there. And that's a really big house, 3,200 square feet. But there's no land really. So here's your estimated heating cost, 5,750 per year. So you're going to have to have two people doing two pretty good jobs to, to live in that one. See, so many sale pending... Okay, here's another regular looking house, 629. Let's take a look. Oh, yeah. Is that the, oh gosh, I thought that was the washer and dryer right there in the kitchen. I'm like, uh, for 629, my washer and dryer better not be in the kitchen. <laughs> but, oh, that's kind of a cool painting of the walls. So yeah, it's nice looking. Got a garage. Oh yeah, like a full garage. This is serious. What is that? The basement? Huh. Isn't that interesting? Patio. None of them come with land. Did I mention that? Oh, like, oh, that's actually pretty great. Um, a great amount of land there. Yeah, they don't come with land. They're just the houses here are just really close together and for the most part. Unless you're living off the grid or something, which is, I mean, all the power to you, but definitely not for me. So again, your taxes there are 4322 and change. It was built in 2000. Got your room sizes, floor plan, and your mortgage calculator again. So that's a good site to check out. We'll move on because this video is turning out to be really long, I'm sure. 
If you're still here and hanging in there, let me know in the comments below if you're still uh, watching. Okay, so we've got two more to go, this Century 21 YK. When we were first moving here, the, there's a real estate agent from this company that contacted us and actually helped us to find an apartment to rent. Um, he was so nice. And so I, you know, in my mind want to go with him when I build a, or when I build a house, when I buy a home. Um, so, you know, looks good on the reputation of the company. So here's a new listing for six fifty nine. I'll just show you. I won't go into detail any more of the houses because you can just take a look. But I'll just show you their basic prices just because I find it really interesting. So there's one for five forty nine. I wonder if you can filter by price here. No, just by Yellowknife inside or out. So three eighty nine. So that's like a trailer again. Yeah, so not much on that one. And then we've got one more here. This seems to have a few more commercial sort of um, listings. So this is Coldwell Banker. Maybe there's a reason for that, and I don't know what it is. Like maybe this company is like known for that, and I'm just telling you that, and you're like, yeah, duh, Cassandra. But um, yeah, I just noticed at the top here, see there's a lot more sort of commercial ones. There's that beautiful house we looked at before. Niven Lake one. Is that just land? Hmm. Again, another commercial one. There's a house that doesn't look like 789,000. Again, the outsides. Oh yeah. Okay. So now that we've turned the picture, the outsides are often deceiving. Like you look at the outside and you're like, well, that looks like garbage <laughs> and then the outside insides are always beautiful like every time oh they have two fridges no that's just is that just a massive fridge look at that so there you go interesting so there's your taxes again there 7289 that was from 2015 so here look at this this is great they lay out their what exactly what their utilities were for last year so 12250 in power 12500 in water and sewer and 7330 in environmental assessments i don't know what that is hmm but that's really awesome that they lay that right out for you so you know exactly what you're getting into Anyway, I'm going to wrap it up here. I'll just shut my screen recording off. I will wrap this up and I am so grateful for you guys as always for watching. Let me know in the comments below if there's anything you would like to see, but be patient with me uh, about the car thing. We've been looking for months and months, but we really, really need to get something before winter. So bear with me. Hopefully, yeah, just pray for me <laughs> that we will find something uh, suitable and then I'll be able to definitely shoot some more outside videos for you. Although guys, like I am a homebody, <laughs> so it is out of my comfort zone. So just be patient with me. I do it mostly for my husband to make him happy and for you guys. So, uh, anyway, so definitely give this a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and don't forget to subscribe, get me to a thousand subscribers. I'm so excited about it and I will definitely see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.